Okay, welcome to the Super Banner Brothers uh, Kingdom Hearts Let's Play again. Part 4. Part You're so 5. Excited. Part 5. <laughs> yeah, part 5. Mm. Part 45. I think we're gonna go past 45. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna go past 45. Exploring I guess it's like... Maybe sixty. Oh no! Oh, you're going in secret place. Uh, I don't go yet. Oh yeah, I think I talked to all these guys first. Do you go in this episode? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do all the stuff here. It binds you together forever and ever. I think I said. She's talking about some pretty big stuff for a kid. I gotta try it sometime. The Tapu Fruit is really awesome. I just realized she's just wearing like I don't know what to call it. It's like overall dress. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you call it either. Uh, Japan. She's wearing a Japan. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a thing. I just don't know what you'd call it. And why is Sora like a sweatshirt? <laughs> what was that? Why is Sora wearing, like, a sweatshirt don't question, jacket thing don't question, when it's clearly the summer? <laughs> don't question Nomura's character design. You know what I just learned today? What? Shin Megami Tensei is the name of a guy. Wait, what? It is? Like, a person? Yeah, you guys didn't know this either? Wait, not not in the game, like you mean in real life, like, right? Yes. I did Apparently not Shin Megami Tensei is the name of a guy that made it, and then... Hmm. What? Sona is the name of the series. Shin Megami Tensei, like, think of it like... Um... Now hold on. Wait, 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 what do you name it? I don't remember. I name it something, but I don't remember. Um, I think I just name it Normandy. Butts. Really? Name it Butts. <laughs> there. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> ah, Normandy. Yeah, just Normandy. Anyway. Who did the Alice game again? Oh, American McGee. Yeah, think of it like that. Because the name of the game isn't America, American McGee. Alice. You know, I mean, Game Tensei is the series and Persona is a spin-off. So what is it like, uh... What do you call it? Tom Clancy? I was told the, na uh, the guy's name was Shin Megami Tensei. Is it like the that's Tom the Clancy? Name of the, that's the name of the overall series. So then... Because there's Shin Megami Tensei games, and then Shin Megami Tensei Persona, win, uh, and then Subtitle. And if you win, I get to share the Palpu with Kairi. L let me look this up. We, we have Google. Um, yeah, oh, holy crap. Apparently the game's been going since 1992. Yeah, it's been... Okay. It's loosely based on the Megami Tens... I never knew this. So, okay, well, it's not the name of a guy. Now watch me epically win this race. What was that noise? Uh, it was... Oh, 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 okay, okay, I was worried. What was probably that the noise? alarm for this thing. What thing? The race. Oh, because it sounded like the... Sonic Screwdriver. <laughs> And we all know what happened last time that noise happened. I don't. Wait, did I you just care. win? No. Yes, no, not yet. But I do win. Spoiler alert. Oh, wait, yeah, you have to go back. I hated this race. I could never win it. Oh. Well, you lost. Huh. I, I mean, I had to try really hard. It's a really hard thing to do. But I did it. David, I always... you, you failed us. What? How? Because you, you fell. <laughs> but I won! You get to share a power with Kyra. Two course. out of five! Yeah, that's not much of an achievement. <laughs> so yeah! Wait a second. Happy dance, two to five. Look at that pouty face. Sora never actually got to share a power fruit with Kyra yet, did he? No. Oh, okay, that's... Kingdom Hearts 3, calling it that now. Sounds like an innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. They never shared. They never shared pal poo fruits, did they? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the more I think about it, the worse it gets. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey Kyrie, you want to see my power? <laughs> what, if that's, what if that's like for the for the world? For that Why world? does she need a seagull egg? Are they going to eat it? Yeah, food. Yeah. That's disturbing. That's what this whole thing. This that's what this whole part is about. The first day was for provisions. Uh, this is or I don't know. This is for Sec food. The second day is provisions. Isn't provisions food? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> so the first one day is, day is, for, is for the first day is like uh, supplies. This is food. Which I hate searching get. for this stuff. So oh yeah, this is just an extra thing. I never knew about this actually. You get a thing that you can sell. Really? Oh, wait, no, it was a protect chain or something, something that you can wear right now. I never I knew about that. something else. There's something else hidden there. Wait a can... second. Why didn't you use that? Like, go and get that. When you, you were fighting them. You can't go there in the first You place. can't go there in the first thing. That's the, on the first so thing. fighting them was still the first day? Yeah. You can't fight all three of them in the second day, can't you? No, you can't fight anyone on the second day. Okay, that is probably where I got mixed up then. Because I spent most of the time goofing off the second day. No, that's not how you play this game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do everything on the first day, and then you just go through the story on the second. But nothing... It, doing stuff on the first day has no real reward. Like in general, video game tradition? Or just... period? I mean, I mean, just... period. It's just... there's no point in fighting the people. It's fun. Experience... Right? And they're... Optional battles. So. Yeah, they're optional battles in Kingdom Hearts. You have to do that. You have to do optional battles. You do. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to show. Them. That's so not that's like some optional battle. <laughs> if, if you have oh, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this always pissed me off. I could never get all three fish. You got I, this I really always, fast. Yeah, it's I always not got hard the first to do. two. I got the first two like in ten seconds, and then spend like the next hour getting the third. It's not too hard to do. But how can you see them? It's they're small. You can see them. Yeah, but they're like perfectly blended in. No, they're not. Oh, and creepy guy handsome. Or this used to creep me out as a kid. Or well, technically we don't know whether or not he's handsome. So this creeped me out as a kid. I hated this part. It still kind of creeps me out. Kind of reminds me of a guy from Star Wars with his cloak. What about Pac-Man? Ben Kenobi. His face looks like Pac-Man. Not really, but okay. Aww. Treasured Men. <laughs> you don't like any of my jokes, so I'm just going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I love Treasured Memories. Yeah, Treasured Memories is awesome. We're talking about the track, by the way. The music. Oh, this is so sad, and then at the end of the game, she comes back, and... Uh... He's, like, punching her with a star. Like, Sora, get out of there! Stranger okay. danger! <laughs> Stranger danger! Sora, <laughs> That's get out! Like, <laughs> actually... He's yeah, only like, a 15-year-old boy! You know better, a creepy old man in a robe. I don't understand why he continues to talk to him, and why he does not question why there's a giant door right there. When I first played this game, I could barely see the guy in the background. So I thought he was talking to a wall, and I was like, what is this? Where did you come from? Yeah, I think it has to do with, like, playing it. It was, like, the darkness settings on my TV or something. Maybe that was it. I don't know, I was gonna say it might have been just progressive scan, but it might have just been the brightness. Speaking of TV screens and video games, did you know that some Nintendo 64 yeah. games yeah. actually have widescreen? What? No, I yeah. don't. Meaningless. Uh, like Donkey Kong 64 has widescreen, and I was playing. Uh, Mis Mischief Maker an option actually in... has widescreen. There's an option in the menu for it. In Donkey Kong 64, you can actually switch to widescreen in options, and then when I put in Mischief Makers, it just automatically was widescreen. And in any other game that I play, like it, if it's not a widescreen game, it will just do the black bars on the side. Huh. Yeah, I never knew that. 
Why weren't were the Zelda games widescreen? <laughs> I don't. That makes me. Laugh. I don't know. That transition was really awkward, by the way. How it went from being really dramatic and moody to yeah, I've always the island song. It's like do At least wait until you're outside of the cave to play the music again. Yeah. It's like it's like oh this stranger is telling me to do something. Well, time for the happiness. Yeah. Anyway, see you next part where I do stuff.